This is the Samsung NP300 V8, which I covered in the last video. It's a surprisingly capable machine, but is held back by its mediocre cooling system. The original heatsink wasn't able to keep the CPU below its thermal limit of 85 degrees Celsius, and when under heavy load it would throttle, which caused some stuttering in games. So in this video I'll be attempting to improve the cooling system by adding an old MacBook Pro heatsink as well as a second fan. Unlike my acrylic laptop, this one doesn't have the advantage of being transparent, so to see the inside I'll need to take it apart. Because of the way this laptop is designed, I couldn't just stick a new heatsink to the old one and call it a day. I needed to get around the oldly placed hard drive which sits between the original cooler and the DVD drive bay. I was able to get around, or more accurately, able to get over this problem by shaping the heat pipe so it bridged over the hard drive and still fit inside the laptop chassis. A second fan was added in parallel to the original so speed control is handled by the motherboard. Using the same Arctic Alumina Thermal Epoxy that I've used in previous builds, I attached the two heatsinks together and then left them to cure. So how much did this actually improve performance? I'll be benchmarking the four games tested in the original video, Overwatch, CSGO, Rocket League and Dirt 3, with the GPU at stock speeds and with an overclock of 60MHz on the core and 100MHz on the memory. Looking at the 1% and 0.1% averages, it seems that the stuttering present before the modification has been fixed. The CPU no longer throttles itself down to stay cool, and with a maximum temperature of 81C on the GPU and 80C on the CPU, it's fair to say that this modification has been a success. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.